According to Pastor Roberson, love and fear cannot coexist. Well, maybe someone needs to tell Kristen and Mitch that. Well, it doesn't seem like they got that message. No, because she continues to walk on eggshells and hit the bar for him is so low, her pug can get over it. Let's get into it. Hello, everyone. This is Cliff Alerts. Today, we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 15, episode number 7. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please hit that notification button so you know when we upload new stuff. Yeah. Uh, now that they're back from their honeymoon in San Diego, they now have to confront the reality of living together for the first time. Now, I got to tell you, it, it, it's becoming harder and harder for me to watch these two people because you see Kristen walking on eggshells. She doesn't want to pressure um, Mitch because she, she treats him like a skittish cat. And meanwhile, the bar for Mitch is so low. I mean, it, it's astounding. She behaves like she is uh, very thirsty for any kind of relationship. And she revealed that she falls in love quickly and gets hurt quickly, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Mitch is saying, hey, look, I'm happy. Yeah, well, if happy. She, she's bringing him everything. If, right. if she treats him like a child instead of a grown man. Um, of course he's happy. I mean, the couples have to check out each other's space to see where they they live. Lord have mercy. And they went to Mitch's house, house, and I sort of threw up a little bit in the back of my throat. I have no idea how she was able to to go through his spot. Did you see the grease, bathroom? Grease on the that stove. Is, that is a man. tear down. That whole thing is a tear down. It's a tear down. It was kind of... Mitch kinda, said he's an environmentalist. Yeah. How about the environment yeah. in his house? The environment outside looked better than the environment inside, didn't it? I mean, you, you need a asthma just to go Great. in that Day joint. in the morning. Oh, my goodness, that was kind of... And what surprises me even more... Everyone knows how this show works. They yeah. know that the person will be coming to their home. Right, so you mean to tell me you couldn't, couldn't clean, clean up? up a little bit and, you know, tidy up and or at least make it a little bit more presentable before his new wife, Kristen, got there? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, you ain't got to... Uh, let me not say that. Let me, let me not say that. I, I was just surprised when the camera went to nasty the, 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 the refrigerator, the stove, the stove and the bathroom, bathroom those are th the floor, right. e like what, it looked dusty. What it woman is going to feel comfortable at any time? And I, can you imagine going in, into that bed? That's what a woman is checking for when you come in the, when you come into the spot. Refrigerator, kitchen bathroom right yes and i'm like if you don't pass those tests miss you got but problems. she looked disgusted when she was outside she looked like you know she had a hard time even breathing it reminded me of that show waters mm -hmm. yeah i mean it, yeah. it was just like just nasty nasty yeah it was you, it you was. needed to get home quickly yeah. because all of a sudden you'll start itching we'll bring, bring home a few hitchhikers that you didn't <laughs> <laughs> you didn't arrive. Mitch is a grown man. He's over 40, 40 years something old. years old, isn't he? He's over 40 he years old. It. And he's, he, he acted as if he's really particular and he was not sure of his relationship. And as soon as he got a warm place to put it, he settled in like a, 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 a pig in shit. I mean, he see. Do, am I am I lying about it? Uh, I'll stop you when you are. Oh, Keep going. okay. Keep going. He's just like, hey, I found my spot. The Kristen experience survived entering Nate's home. Yeah, then the roles were reversed. He got a chance to meet 
her yeah. space. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. surprised she lived in a really small space, mm -hmm. but at least it looked clean. Right. She has a, a, a pug named Luna. A pug Luna. dog, yeah, uh -huh, named Luna, right. I, Luna needs an oxygen tank. Yeah, <laughs> Luna, that's how they do. They breed like that. Yeah. And Mitch is looking at the animal like, it's, I don't know about this. Right, she's going to be all right? It's yeah, cool. he's right. pretending that he likes, but I'm not sure. I will let him leave my my dog with him. Yeah, he was a little apprehensive. There's no yeah, question about that. Yeah, uh, he yeah. was a little uh, unsure, shall we say, of what mm -hmm. to do. Uh, I don't. I didn't think that he was very comfortable, and and all. Uh, I guess hearing a wheezing dog and and all that, and yeah, because they're loud. Later on, they uh, they eat dinner. They get together for dinner, and uh, Mitch says that he's going. Uh, he thinks things are going great. Of course he yeah, does. So what what else do, would you expect from him so far, right? I right. Mean, Kristen loves how things are going as well, but I don't know if that's necessarily where she really and truly is. Kristen is living in La La Land. Mm -hmm. She's not seeing the, the terrain in front of of her, mm -hmm. particularly Mitch. Yeah. yeah. So she she's in that fantasy of being married and being a wife and what have you. Mm -hmm. And and the selection they have given her is not quite it mm -hmm. and she needs to really value herself enough to say after all these relationships regardless I'm here now and I'm over 40 but it's okay I could be fine by myself because my standards are gonna be what will force me to look for someone who is in par with who I am and what I want. Mm -hmm. And I do not believe that Mitch is that person. Yeah, well, I don't know if she'll get to that point. Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't, but uh, it's something to consider for sure. Something. Be, be, because she said uh, when they were on the honeymoon that she's going to run it because Mitch was sort of shaky. Playing games playing with her. Playing games little, with little her bit. a little bit, and right. she said she's going to run it. Now they get home, all of a sudden she's giving him coupons mm -hmm. about, you know, having a shower or a bath or mm -hmm. what have you and getting this. Little, little wifey perks, right? Their, that their, extended their, home, their, right? their sex on. Right, right, right. I, I, I don't understand it, but hey, hey. Uh, it is what it is. I guess that's what part of what those married folks do. <laughs> yeah, guess. but uh, low lying fruit, that means you got to reduce who you are. Mm -hmm. To, to get to that point, and is that necessary? Yeah, it seems like you're going in the wrong direction. But it seems like she's been there before. Maybe That's so. the whole reason why yeah. she signed up for this show. Right. Straighten that back and, and right. look in a, another direction and down. Yeah. She needs to look in a, totally w with her back straight mm -hmm. and upright. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. well, if Mitch is coming around, how come they haven't talked about after the eight week period how come no plans have been made why is she not articulating to him what she wants what she needs because why is she allowing him to set the agenda for her life probably because uh, uh he wants to uh, proceed with things one week at a time well that's him right. what about her right she She's got to speak up for herself she definitely has this to is what i want this is what we're going to do. Are you in or are you out? Right, right. I agree. I agree. And if we can't make a plan for eight weeks or maybe uh, 90 days beyond the yeah, deadline, right. something's wrong. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then uh, they have a visit from Pastor Robeson. Right. And he wants to know, obviously, what's going on with them, just like he did with all of the other couples. And right. And Mitch admits that he was overwhelmed uh, by this whole experience at the beginning, but hey, um, he's kind of warmed up to it. I'm just telling you what he said. Huh? You don't have to give me the side eye because I, you know, hey. I'm not giving you the side eye. Um, I, I mean, Kristen loves, uh, loves the idea of marriage and, you know, they're not planning anything beyond a week, but they've consummated their marriage, obviously. But she loves the idea of marriage. But it's so much what, more to it than that. What about loving uh, when she is in a wholesome relationship? Absolutely. Where she doesn't have to walk on eggshells to when, be a part right. of it. Yes, I understand. Be who she is. Right, and have that be okay. Right. I understand that. They're not because at that point when yet. 
What I have learned is walking on eggshells, you're not being authentic. Yeah. Walking on eggshells, you're telling the other person that you're not enough. You got to get their their approval and not the, the approval of yourself. Which is not necessary under the circumstances. It's not. So I I'm, I just think that this whole thing is yeah, and they so have, much. And they haven't even talked about finances yet. Well, they had to whisper to each other finances. Right. But beyond that, I wouldn't do anything financially with this dude. <laughs> The yeah. only thing I probably will write a check for is to get a cleaning service to roll through mm -hmm. there. And tighten up that apartment? And straighten out that entire situation that we got going on there. money well spent for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, and, but, the, but the, the, the weirdness of this, this particular marriage is that, well, they haven't really talked about finances. They have talked about what they, uh, what they may be thinking about down the road in terms of kids. No, they just articulated what they would like, but they have not articulated the kids they want together. There's a difference. Well, they said that uh, they said they want the kids, maybe kids within one to two years, but they haven't said, you know, exactly, you know, how many they want or whatever, you know. What? Well, listen, they when they say they haven't made any plans beyond a, a no day week. to day or week to week situation. Right. They're not checking for kids. That's what Kristen may hope for. Yeah. But she that's on the lock and key. So do you think that that was just said in response to maybe a question or, or topic of discussion posed by Doctor? I'm um, sorry, Pastor Pastor Robert? Yeah. Okay. Because a woman can dictate what she wants, and if the guy can't deal with it, well, okay, you're out. Yeah, it just seems it just seems like there's they're kind of like all over the map. I'm very. Very unsure about these two, you know. Well, Go ahead. that's all we have. <laughs> you don't want to say no more, do you? You're gonna get in trouble, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not I to. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm I can see not it. To. I can see it. You were there. You can see it in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, you with him. Don't want, to, don't want to go there. Oh, right. we don't have, want to have a diva rising. No, That's no, not no, pleasant. No, no. <laughs> so, ah. all I'm going to say is that's all we have for now. We're certainly going to pray that they're both in a good place right now, presently, mm -hmm. as we speak, because we don't know when this was filmed. Right. And I don't know what their situation is right now. But I hope it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I'm less confident about that. But that's well, just me. Well, it could be good on their own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it could be. It definitely could be. So. Anyway. But um, we want to thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please send us your comments. Please hit that notification button so you know when we upload new stuff. Have a good one. The weekend is here. We'll see you soon. Deuces.